want to fucking see you, Henry. See you later. The Miller and Ledechko would be happy to meet you. You really found work for us? Of course. We couldn't bear to look at those sour faces of yours a moment longer. Thanks, Henry. Only... <sighs> what? The reward we talked about, well, we haven't got two Groshen to rub together. Nah, that doesn't matter. You'll pay me when you have it. That we will. Stop by and visit us in a week. We'll pay you back as soon as we get our first wage. Goodbye. get any sleep. I just won't get any sleep. Well, I Jesus Christ be praised. I have the tooth of the saint for you. Truly? Then show it to me. Behold. 
Ah, is it really from St. Procopius? Of course. I'd never try to deceive you that way. You're right. My God, you're right. Such holiness. I mean, you're dead, Henry. How can I repay you? Thanks, but I don't want anything. I was glad to help. Truly? Well, thank you. My pleasure. And Henry? Yes? I just wanted to touch it for luck. If you took something you shouldn't have, I expect you'll put it back. Goodbye. Yeah. Yeah.
Jesus Christ be praised. How may I serve you? Goodbye. God be with you. Have you got any work that needs doing? Not much. Unless you're not averse to a bit of risk. How do you mean? As you can see, I tan hides. I can only buy them from the Master Huntsman and he never gives me enough. I'd hunt them down myself, only he keeps a close watch on me. But you now... Well, I don't think the Master Huntsman would be any happier about me hunting on his preserve. He wouldn't, if he caught you at it. Look here, I'll pay a good price for whatever you bring me. And sometimes I have to fill an order and I need something in particular. In which case, I would pay you extra. And if you help me out a few times, I might be able to teach you something useful. Couldn't you use some hides? I need the hide of a sturdy roe buck. There's a wealthy merchant after one to hang on his wall. <laughs> As if anyone would believe he bagged it himself. God be with you. Welcome, Hen. The Lord be praised. What's on your mind? I brought the roan, my lady. That's wonderful. There weren't any problems with it, I hope. Nothing too serious. He's a little wild, but I was able to handle him in the end. Well, that won't do. Sophie can't have some wild horse at her wedding starting a stampede. But I've learnt a trick. If you sing to him, he calms down. You sang to a horse? 
It's quite true, I'm afraid. I sang to a horse. Well, then you'll have to sing something to me, too. My lady, I, I don't know if I... So I know how to calm down that roan. Go ahead, sing. <clears throat> to horses come roaming in the merry month of May. To graze in the shade of the apple tree there. Uh, the first one is brown and the second is grey. Which shall I ride to my maiden so fair? Oh, how beautiful! I'm not surprised the horse calmed down after hearing such a lovely voice. Anyway, I'll think about what to do with the roan. But thank you, Henry. I've brought you the crown from the master engraver. Henry, you are a gem. Look at that Moldavite. Isn't it wonderful? Sophie will look like an angel. So, what's next? I brought the wine. Wonderful, wonderful. No wedding is complete without good wine. Find somewhere here to put it down. I'll send for a servant to bring it later. I hope you had no problems acquiring it. Problems? Huh. I don't know the meaning of the word. <laughs> As if I didn't know you. What can I do for you, my lady? Nothing. You've done enough. And now I'd like to reward you. That's not necessary, my lady. You taking the time to see me is reward enough. Come now, Henry. No need for such modesty. I appreciate everything you've done for me. As well as your company. And there's something I'd like to give you. This shirt was my father's. He was built very much like you. Broad shoulders, strong chest. It should fit you just right. But... But I can't accept this. It's too valuable. It's too valuable to be left to the mercy of moths. It doesn't fit my husband well, and I've no one else to give it to. What's more, if you were to leave us again, I'd like you to have something to remember me by, so you don't forget me. I could never forget you, my lady. Well then, won't you try it on at least? What? Right now? Why not? Don't worry, I won't look. I'll turn my back. And what if your husband comes in? He won't. Neither will anyone else. All right, then. God be with you. I feel truly blessed to have you here. So long I yearned for young company. I really feel God heard my prayers and sent you to me. I'm ready. My, you do look handsome. As fine as any gentleman. When I was a little girl, there were always lots of other children around and young men and women of the court. It was so merry. I always hoped it would be like that when I was grown up too. But it was not God's plan. You and Sir Divish had no children. No. No, alas, we, we were not blessed. Twice I was with child, but they did not live. And now I fear there's no hope for me. My lady. Forgive me, my lady. I, I shouldn't have. I don't mind.
I've got good news, sir. The source of the problem was inside the monastery. There was nothing more to it. And the construction? We'll continue. The Master Builder's helper was to blame for everything. With him out of the way, the work will run smoothly again. That's good. You've accomplished your task admirably, Henry. And I should reward you for it. Thank you, Sir Divish. Take care now. Good health to you. Can we trade? If you've got the coin. Good luck to you. Can we trade? If yeah, well.
Yeah! 